me what did you get to the other? You see, I was locked down one of the lost people. I'm the brother of Mike's there. He's your mother. Oh, well, you know, not long after I moved out here, I felt like the Lord called me. And I want you to know something, brother. I got awful afraid. I felt like I may be out of it. I remember I've been around the sawmill, I'm crying everywhere that I walked, yeah. just because it seemed like the Spirit of God was just bothering me so bad. I don't know, I do For many years up in Michigan, I would go out and I'd be in the mow grass. Jeremy would come and work with me sometimes, and I'd be out there behind that mower, and I'd be preaching away. And I thought, I what in the world this is. And I remember going to Uncle Chris and telling him, I thought maybe, maybe something wasn't right. He said, well, I don't worry about it. You're just being close to God. Well, come on. I never gave him much thought. But when I moved down here, you talk about it. Hard. Oh, well, um, Jeremy, I don't wonder why. The Lord, he's got a lot of work to do. He's got a lot of there that needs, uh, needs uh, uh, salvation. Reach to them. Oh, well, I'm in there. Oh, one time, uh, there was there was an old lady. She said, well, right here. And she had a and she had a husband who wasn't in the church. His name was Tom, and her name was Sister Dorothy. Yeah. Oh, well, he was getting to where he wasn't going to live very long. Yeah. And, and she was doing everything that she could to put the Word of God in front of him. And I remember Brother Darrell calling me and saying, Chad, we're going to go over to have a church service over at her house there. And you know, I'm Mother Larry, when we went in there, it was just me and Mother Darrell and Sister Dorothy and Tom. There's four of us there, brother. And I thought, how in the world are we going to preach here? What in the world? Well, I want you to know something. I went and Brother Mike was up, and he said, Are we two or three? Are yeah, they together in my name? Yeah. I'll be there in the midst. I want you to know something today. I'm not saying, Brother, oh, it's true right now. Yeah. Well, I never knew I was scared. And he said, I'll go first for you. And Brother, he got up and preached to that man. About, about the one that hung on the cross. And you know what? On that day right there, I learned something. I'm that the Lord, He'll bless you. Yeah. I'm your best try a little. If you're free, I'll run up there in front. Um, brother, I don't know about that man, but I want you to know something. He didn't live much longer. He met, he met the old powerful God, and where he stands with him, uh, that was between him and the Lord. But this like, this like Brother Mike preaching about people's blood being on other people's hands. When you feel like that the Lord's bidding you to say something to somebody, you should take heed to it. Season it with as much love as you can. Oh, and let them all do the rest. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes it takes cutting somebody just a little bit. And I know that that's not easy. But you know, the, 
The Bible says that the sword it cuts right between the hell and, and the spirit and, and the soul place. gets going and coming. Yeah, Lord. The Lord Sometimes we need to be cut way down deep, Brother Joe. It's like planting that little seed. When you get that little cut down up, and it begins to heal, it's like planting that little seed way down in the ground. And it gets a little bit of water on it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it is in no time, and it begins to sprout just a little bit. Oh, well, that's the way that the Word of God works. If you want something good in your life, and then you take that Bible right there, and uh, you study it, and you read it, how uh, you look into it, I know how uh, that there's stuff in there that uh, you're not going to be able to understand, and there's names in there that you're not going to be able to say, uh, but I want you to know something, how uh, that down the road, uh, uh, it will bring life to you. Yeah. It will bless you. It will bless your family. Uh, there's things in here that say, oh man, uh, you, uh, maybe you got a wife that don't believe. Uh, do you know that maybe uh, you can be the liar to her? Uh, I said, oh, uh, uh, maybe you got a husband that don't believe. Uh, maybe uh, you can be the liar to her. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, we don't know all these things no. uh, the way that the Lord does. We gotta try. No. Oh, we must try. <laughs> but I do know that when we put the Lord first, See? and when we put His work first, yeah. then He will take care of us. Yeah. It doesn't say that it's going to be all perfect. Yeah. You know, I've heard the saying, even as a bit of Moses, well, there's thorns in there. Yeah. Don't wiggle around too much. <laughs> You'll find them. That's right. That's for sure. Well, with these few words, I bring the Pilgrim's Prayer Church to their seats and time.